So I'm joined by Non Harv, who is an actress, director, producer, a little bit of everything, um, and has worked for Theatre Nanorg. So, hi. All right, how are you today? Hi, lovely. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Very good. Thank you. So if I just ask you a few questions. So what were your first impressions of uh, Theatre West Glamorgan or Theatre Nanorg? I remember going down to um to audition for them um at uh, the Dylan Thomas Theatre in Swansea actually um and um it was a it was a lovely experience it was one of the um it was quite soon after I graduated so I was doing quite a lot of auditions and very keen obviously to you know to do that and to to um to meet people and um and the no good doing a, a show at the, uh, the Dylan Thomas Theatre in Swansea at the time. And so Gaynard was down there and she invited me over and um, very soon was was told that, I, that I'd that i got the part in the first show that I did with them, which was uh, We Need Bees. Um, and it was just like being welcomed into a family, really. Um, and um, it was just such a such a positive, such a lovely experience. And we toured with that show all over the country, uh, Wales, England, and to Scotland. Um, and always felt like they were at the end of the phone if anything was happening or, um, yeah, just just a, a really lovely, positive experience. And, and such a fab show as well, um, you know, getting such positive um, a response from the audience and like children's shows. Um, and, and, Nanog, doing that with Nanog was one of my first experiences, really. So, yeah, it's where it all began. Lovely. Have you got any other memories or silly stories or anything about your time there that you could share with us? Um, I do remember when I did um, Rosie's War. Um, that was a few years after um, <laughs> that uh, there was a scene where um, I was coming on stage with a with a banana and it was um, the whole, this whole scene was about the banana because it was the war time and there weren't many bananas around. And one day I forgot to bring the prop banana on stage. Um, and me and Jack Quick uh, improvised uh, around the fact that there was no banana in the scene, but but I had a banana at home. So <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. The things we have to do, um, we have to improvise. Yeah, one of those moments where you're where you're yeah your gut just oh uh, goes when you realize but um that's why it's really important to get on with your fellow actors because they're the ones that <laughs> help you out. yeah they're the ones oh, who help you out yeah. absolute classic example there yeah oh that's brilliant I remember you in that show because I came in and directed it into Ooh. Welsh didn't I exactly yes yeah 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 and I was you know it's always a really interesting experience going from from the English to the Welsh, but um, but it's a good sort of exercise to do halfway through the run because it gives the show a little bit of a new lease of life. A new, yeah, yeah, a new twist, a new yeah. energy to it, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. So how important would you say that time was for you? It was, it's really important for me because um, it was one of the first touring jobs I did as well. And um, as I say, that first job I did with them, we toured all over um England and up to Scotland I think it was the first time I'd ever been to Scotland so um you know really formative experiences and I love going to different places and different theatres you know getting to uh, visit and perform um in places like Norwich and Colchester and mm -hmm. places that theatres that were on my radar but I would have never got the opportunity to go there otherwise um but yeah, just, you know, hours and hours in that minibus, um, just happy memories, really, of, you know, um, of, of the fun that we had. Um, and uh, and yes, I did. A, I did a, another show with them at the Dylan Thomas Theatre in Swansea. And it's I think there's so many shows that um, that you get to do just for a very short period of time. But those shows with the Norg, I got to do. For, for much longer you know for months yeah um, yeah looking back now that feels like a luxury actually to be able to do that because it's it, because it is quite rare to be able to do uh, a run that long um uh, at the moment anyway yeah so on that note what what kind of legacy do you think theatre nanorg has for kind of young adults coming into the industry 
so important those those opportunities that um you know I, I graduated and was keen to stay in Wales and those opportunities were just um so important at the beginning of um of my career um yeah the the you feel like they trust you and that the, you know when when you don't have much on your CV that's a huge thing mm. um and for for them then to to nurture you and um you know uh, working with uh, directors like Phil Harris who just you know welcome you in and and make you feel like part of that family it's a, you know it, it was a it was a big deal for me because i you know luckily because of Nanorg, really, I, I worked a lot more than most of my peers during that first year after graduation. And that was down to Nanorg, really. Mm -hmm. um, and, those, uh, you know, you get you get those flying hours then and do your belts, don't you? When you feel like you're a lot more um, prepared to, 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 to face the industry, you know, rather than doing um, or, you know, as opposed to doing sort of one day of R&D and one day of filming here and there, you actually get a good you get your teeth into something yeah um, and as I say that that that's actually quite rare yeah like you said yeah. that those long runs you learn your craft don't you you learn you those you techniques do. and how to sustain a long run as well which is amazing absolutely and you do it day in day out I think with Rosie's War we did something like 80 something performances so you know you really get the opportunity to um to, yeah to stay with something for a long time which is um which is a skill in itself but mm. um but um yeah it becomes a really sort of um you know I, I I look at it as a really uh nice um lovely period and um yeah lots of good memories just yeah. finally what impact do you think it has on young audiences or audiences in Wales the impact is really important on um children coming to see those shows um I think it's huge it's the first time that many of them have been to the theatre or have been to the theatre to see anything except maybe for Panto um and I remember when we were doing Rosie's War we would always do a QA and a afterwards and it was really um it was a really important part uh, of the performance to do that Q&A and to meet the, to meet the audience afterwards and some of the questions you would get would just be hilarious but they were so invested in it and you know um because we got to meet them afterwards um it you know you really yeah I don't, you, 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 you get a direct you get a direct impact from it don't you and yeah. you see how it's yeah. gone down yeah yeah and that's um and that's just really really lovely to see and the 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 magic of it you know as you know as adults you've got a bit blase but you know because and because we're in the theater day in day out and you know how it works and and then you see them react to that sort of magic mm -hmm. and, and it, it it definitely helps to um to keep it to keep the whole thing fresh because you get such an such an instant and unfiltered uh re response Absolutely. Uh, from from the kids and I think it's just so important that that carries on um because schools don't necessarily have resources to be able to um you know to to give drama lessons or or whatever you know everything is everything is um you know getting feels like it's getting more tough you know mm. for for school, for teachers uh, and so the fact that Nanorg can still provide that is um is it's incredible isn't it is so yeah, mm. yes, yeah. But yeah. I remember them coming to my school when they were Theatre West Glamorgan. And that was one of the reasons I went into acting, I think, because it was just, and they actually came into the school. And I can remember the actors, four actors coming in, and it's yes, so powerful, yeah. isn't it? So powerful. And I remember that um, in where I grew up, grew up it was Cloyd. Um, and, you know, that they they brought things in, and that that impact is is. Um, is huge and it's you know it's really sad that some corners of, of Wales in particular miss out on that sort of thing because because companies aren't able to tour so so widely etc um, but yeah very very important work mm. thank you so much lovely chatting to you thank you Tanya see you again Ta -da.